Greetings from the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. Today is Saturday, March 2nd, 2024. It is about 12.51 p.m. Mountain Time. And today we are going to take a look at how to go from the Phoenix Airport to downtown Phoenix from the airport. Now I started off in Terminal 3 by gate F1. You can see gates F4 and F15 are that way. This is Terminal 3 that we're in. So gate F1 happens to be right next to the connector that goes to, basically leaves the terminal. I was here about a month and a half ago for an overnight layover and I did a video touring Terminal 3 then, so if you're interested in actually seeing what the airport looks like, I went throughout all of Terminal 3, talked about like the artwork like you see on the ground here. If you keep on going through this tunnel and get to the other side, I mean once you get to the midpoint, if you kept on going, that would take you to the E gates in Terminal 3. But we're not going to do that today because we're simulating as if we just got off the plane in Terminal 3, we want to take the SkyTrain to leave Terminal 3. Now the SkyTrain is going to go in two different directions. You can take it going one way, which takes you to, I believe, like the West parking lot and also the car rental center. But we're taking it in the direction that will go toward Terminal 4, the East parking lot, and then the 44th Street and Washington Metro Station. And that's where you would connect to the public transportation system. So once you get here, if you're coming from the F gates, you're going to make a left-hand turn if you want to go to the SkyTrain. If you wanted to go to baggage claim, just follow the signs and ground transportation, it would be that way toward the big sunglasses up there. Uh, if you're coming from the E gates, again, just follow the signs. So we're making a left-hand turn. And when I toured the airport and did that video tour a month and a half ago, I only did Terminal 3, I didn't go to Terminal 4. And the reason for that is because there is no way to go between Terminal 3 and Terminal 4 without having to go through TSA again. So, as you'll see up here, it's going to say exit, which means you are exiting the terminal and understanding that you've left the secure area. You are entering a secure area. So exit only, and then you can see the sky. Uh, the sign is just pretty clear that you're going to the Phoenix Sky Train. Also, get a peek at some of the artwork here before we go quickly. see the traffic below us as we're walking on the inner link. Once you get past this corner, you're going to make a right-hand turn and take escalators up to the upper level, and that's where the, both trains will be. And then from there, it's just up to you, depending on which what your purpose is, if you're trying to go to a parking lot, the rental lot, or... Uh, terminal 4. So this video can kind of serve as like, oh, if you're if you have a flight that starts in Terminal 3 and you need to connect to Terminal 4, how do you do that? This will achieve that, but we're going to take it a step further and actually ride the Sky Train to the Metro, and then from there take that Metro station into downtown Phoenix. These sky trains are free, the ones that are in the airport, and they should run fairly frequently. Most airports that have trains, they do have them run fairly frequently. So yeah, you can see the signs up there. In fact,
fact, there's a train that's coming right now. I don't know if we'll catch it in time, but we'll see. Southwest flights are here as well as other airlines. We're going to stay on it though. Next
So you can see the sign over there says passenger pickup, cell phone lot, and ground transportation. And then this way, it's where it says the Metro light rail. So you still take the escalator down, but go this direction. And this shows the system map that we were on. So we're here at 44th. We started off at the Terminal 3 station, but we could have gone that direction initially. We went this way, and now we're here. So I'm not sure exactly what time the Metro is going to come. You always run the risk when you do these videos that, you know, you see it sitting there and the door is closed just before you can get on. If that happens, that's fine. Okay, so now this is where we're taking the tunnel. It looks like the people movers are not functioning at the moment. Well, that's that's all right. Normally they should have people movers, it seems. Oh, they are functioning. What am I talking about? <laughs> My spatial. <laughs> I was looking down at the yellow ones down there, the yellow construction signs that say do not enter. So I just assumed that there was some construction going on.
Okay. All right, so this is, you can see this is where you would normally purchase passes. I use the app to purchase passes. But you can also use the kiosk here. $4 for a day pass, seven day passes, 20 bucks. So if you're gonna be here for like five days, might as well get the weekly pass if you're gonna use it every day. Otherwise, day pass for however day, how many days you're gonna use it makes sense. So I assume, so I'm in the Metro app. I'm gonna show my particular thing. So scan when boarding. So I'm gonna assume that this station is where, where I scan it. Ticketed passengers only on the station platform. Scan mobile barcode. So yeah, let's try doing it here. Scan. Is it reading it? <laughs> Accepted, okay. You had to hold the camera a little bit further out. So I accepted it. Oh, my particular thing didn't, oh, now it says active pass. Okay, there it goes. I was gonna say it hasn't updated yet, but now it says active pass at 108 p.m. and expires basically 24 hours later. So which way are we gonna go now? 44th in Washington. So if you want to go I think that way is Temp yeah, Tempe and Mesa. And I'm pretty sure that going this direction would be uh, Phoenix, meaning heading that way. But who knows, maybe your bearings could also be wrong. Let me check on Google Maps. Okay, a westbound train is approaching now. So I guess whatever one says... I don't know if they both say the same thing, but we'll say Metro Parkway goes this direction. This is 44th Street in Washington, Sky Harbor International Airport. Next stop, 38th Street in Washington.
This is 38th Street in Washington, Gateway Community College. Next stop, 24th Street in Washington. Street in Washington. Next stop, 12th Street in Washington. Next stop. Street in Washington. This is the train to Metro Parkway.
Now entering 12th Street in Washington, East Lake Park. Doors to my right. So now we're getting pretty close to the downtown area. This is 12th Street in Washington, East Lake Park. Next stop, 3rd Street in Washington. Next stop, 3rd Street in Washington. This is the train to Metro Parkway. at Chase Field. I got off at 3rd Street in Washington. I believe the basketball arena is just down the street there. So you're right in the heart of downtown Phoenix. This is 2nd Street. That's here. I guess 3rd Street would have been the one before us. But my hotel is just down the road. If you enjoyed this tour 
or demonstration of how to get from the Phoenix airport as a visitor to the downtown Phoenix area using public transportation. I mean, you can't beat $4, right? <laughs> Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.